Johnson & Johnson reported strong first quarter results. Uh, the results were ahead both our expectations and consensus expectations. The strength here was really being led by the pharmaceutical group. And when you think about Johnson & Johnson, the three pieces here, really the pharmaceutical group is doing very well, while the device group and the consumer group are both lagging. But nevertheless, with such power coming from the pharmaceutical group, we are increasing our fair value by $2 to $99 per share. And we think that the strength that we've seen in the pharmaceutical group will continue over the next several quarters and it will likely have an amplified impact on the bottom line because keep in mind pharmaceutical sales have much higher margins than both the device group and the consumer group. So that should put Johnson & Johnson on a path that should continue to accelerate earnings throughout the remainder of this year and probably into the beginning of next year.